Looking over here and it's showing sports and I'm remembering how I just lost all those bets today and I'm pissed. Now I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking right now about what does pop culture leave out in regards to the 80s. I'm going to go through a couple of examples here and see if you guys either agree, disagree, or if you guys kind of have your own uh, kind of have your own thoughts here. Maximus Decimus says, this isn't specific to the 80s, but the experience of boredom. There were many periods of time during the week when you simply had to sit there with your own thoughts and be bored. This was, this has been almost completely eliminated by phones, and I think it explains why attention spans are so fucked. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, sorry, ahead, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but I was just, I was never bored when during that time period. There was always something to do. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was where that guy grew up, but I was either outside or was, you know, doing things with my brothers or whatever. So there wasn't any time where I was just sitting around, just bored with my thoughts. I don't know if it's, I don't know yeah, if it's about I, being bored. What's that, Lane? I was going to say, I don't I don't think that, like, what that guy said can be uh, or he grew everybody's up in a, experience. Yeah, he grew you up know? in a city somewhere and was just, there were times where you were just sitting in your like room. That was just 100% like, uh, just him. Yeah. Because, man, I was always doing things as a kid. I don't know. Well, I remember, I, mean, I, I think one, it's not necessarily boredom, but it's it was having to create your own fun. Yeah, we it did was, that all the time. If you were, you know, if you were by yourself, you know, I had an older sister, but we didn't really, you know, play together all that much, especially when we, you know, we got a little bit older. But it was, you had to create your own fun. It, there wasn't a phone. You couldn't just go be glued to the, now I did watch a shit ton of television, um, but there was a lot of times where you just you had to kind of make up your own shit. But the, yeah, that's yeah. also revisionist history where you're sitting there now because you have all this stuff that entertains you. All that other stuff looks alien or, or looks like, oh, I don't remember not doing that or doing it's like, well, if you didn't have your phones, you wouldn't notice that anyways, because you would have been doing the same thing you were doing 40, 30 years ago. It wouldn't have seemed boring or you wouldn't have seen it's I don't get rid of the phone you'll find out that you'll just life will go back as it was beforehand well that's I mean, pretty much why we, we i mean we our daughter who's 12 she has a phone but we limit it pretty significantly for those reasons is that we don't want her just being being glued to it because she's already on my wife's phone enough as it is so mm -hmm. i mean her phone she's got a couple we give her like spotify and i think netflix and but there's we put time limits on all that stuff so she can't so she can't um, just be glued to that. Another one here. Uh, what are some things that pop culture leaves out about the 80s? Anything we wore that wasn't neon. Pop culture acts like the 80s were just a sea of nothing but neon for 10 years. <laughs> okay. I got to. I'll, I'll actually. As a kid, I had like from the late 80s, early 90s. I was trying to remember because I, and maybe it was just Tallahassee or maybe it's because we're close to the coast. There was a lot of neon. Where yeah. I, when I was a kid growing up, we had neon socks, we had neon shorts, shirts, windbreakers, everything. dude. We were ready to kick the wind's ass. Yeah, dude. I mean, there was a lot of it everywhere. It seemed like it was almost every day. So I can, I mean, it wasn't the entirety of the 80s. It was like 88, 89, and 90, maybe a little bit of 91. But there was neon everywhere neon tie dye, neon shoe. I mean, it was, it was the thing. It was everywhere. So I could, I, I kind of get where people think that. I remember getting made it's fun funny of. Cause I, oh, God. I was going to say, I associate denim more with the 80s. Yeah, really? yeah. wash, stone wash jeans. Yeah, and then all that and, kind of stuff. And neon, neon yeah. was a part of it, but I don't think it was as big of a part. Maybe it's because just the weather's warmer down here. You don't have you don't wear jeans as often because we did have the ash wash stuff, but more like summertime apparel. You were in neon everything down here. It was hyper wild. color t shirts. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. hyper Put color, hand, baby. Hand on the shirt. Um, no, I remember. I, I remember getting made fun of because. They had a buy one, get one deal on Converse. And I got a pair of royal blue Converse. Loved those shoes. They looked fantastic. The only other color they had in my size was neon pink. So yeah. I wore neon pink Converse at age 9 or 10 or something like that. And I got relentlessly I remember those shoes. picked on because of that. We, we, we would get those. And then you would get like the the um, puff up paint that was neon. And you would you would 
put draw little, it, yeah. yeah, draw yep. little things or whatever on it. We had those shoes that were, I mean, who knows what happened to them. But oh, man. Would, yeah, you just unlocked a memory. Not a drink. Yeah, because the, the, the little puffy paint thing, it was like in a little squeezy yeah, a little kind squeezy of thing. Tube. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, We had a kid come over to our house and eat that shit, and they had to run <laughs> to the Kai? hospital. They was it had, Kai? No, it wasn't Kai. No, but I, I remember like my parent was my, like my mom was freaking out and like this other kid's mom was freaking. I'm like, what happened? She's like, he ate this. And I'm like, well, why? And for me, I'm like, why did he eat it? Like, it's what not that food. Movie? What was that movie where that the, the original, kid was eating that Think about it. That's that the original stuff. Tide Pod. It was like yeah, where the, the kid pain. was eating that stuff and they're just like, yeah, let's stay away from this kid. <laughs> he was like eating the glue or something. Uh, Love us 74. Uh, welcome back to the stream, actually, Leva. Um, that we really thought the Russians were going to end the world any second now. It was a continuous yeah, and thought you find out and that worry it was that like mothballed out. Yeah, it was a continuous thought and worry that drove a ten-year-old nuts. Yeah, I remember all that stuff. Yeah, the thought of a possible like nuke, nuke event at any point, and then you find out that like a majority of their nukes didn't even work. They were all mothballed and taken apart. So put just, a. It was, Put a pin in the Russian thing for a minute because we're going to get to that here. But uh, here we go. Somebody else commented on this. You had two choices, neon and fucking brown. That was pretty yeah. much it. Everything was fucking brown. <laughs> but then another person responds with brown. What? No, brown was the 70s. We mocked brown and avocado, orange, and harvest gold for being so out of date like bell bottoms. Black, white, bold colors, including neons. That was the 80s. It was the backlash against the earth tone well, 70s you know what also was really is this weird thing and it has to do with i think like i don't want to say who's in power but who's of age at that time i just remember the 80s being really retro 50s like you had a lot of the flooring and a lot of places was like checkered like black and white like a giant checkerboard you had a lot of this 50 retro kind of looking lamps and 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 stuff and it was like this whole like it was really 50 retroed out during the 80s i don't know if you guys remember a lot of that but it's like the peewee herman like his yeah. was more like 50 retro and there was a lot of 50 heavy 50 retro feel to the 80s that you could find everywhere well i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that fashion goes in cycles mm -hmm. and it like it will always come back around and so i like i remember the 90s was all about the 60s yeah so, like, you know, 50s were the 80s, and then uh, the 60s came back in the 90s, and then the 70s mm -hmm. kind of came back in the 2000s. And it just, there's like a 30-year cycle. I think they've done studies on this that show you exactly kind of what the timeline is for these things. We're in the 90s now. Although, yeah, right? I think we're kind of speeding up, though, because with social media yeah. and the internet, yeah. it, it sort of exacerbates a lot of that to where fashion and trends move a lot faster than they ever have. Mm -hmm. All right, a few more here in regards to things that... Uh, oh, I have one maybe, that I just remember too, but go for it. <laughs> in regards to things that uh, pop culture doesn't really get right in regards to the 80s, so much cocaine. Like, it was everywhere. The dude who yeah, used to deliver beer where I worked would just casually say, you want a bump? And we'd march into the beer cooler and snort coke. And that wasn't Los Angeles or Miami. That was rural middle Georgia. Yeah, it was everywhere. <laughs> We got to ask Spano about that because I believe he lives, kind of lives in uh, rural middle Georgia right now. A couple more here from Reddit and then we'll get to uh, what you're going to say there, Frank. Um, pop culture sort of covers the 80s pretty well, but kids today don't fully appreciate how incredibly different the world was before the internet and cell phones. Absolutely transformative. But see, they make it seem like it stopped like in the 80s. This really didn't happen. It's been in the last 10 years that the, this, the phones have really taken over. I mean, I could even remember before 2010 not being addicted to my phone and living it was like the last 10 years that phones have really taken over so it's not like it was all oh, the 80s and then after that it was downhill mm. it's only been within the last like 10 years i would, years give, that I would really give it more over. time than that I, I remember people really being glued to their phones in like 07 08 like especially me, especially when the first iphone really, came out it didn't really i didn't, I, I was never i've never really have been but i didn't use my phone more until around 2012 2010. well i think that guy is just saying kids today yeah. Don't appreciate not having it. They don't fucking mm. get it, bro. Like kids born within the past 10 years. I was going to say the when we were kids, the, the cartoons, when we did the whole cartoon, the bumpers that you don't have, the kids can't experience the bumpers oh. that the, the those shows used to have. And when they would bring the celebrities After of like the different. These messages will be right back. Yeah, or they would have like the celebrities of the sitcoms do like the the drug commercial like in between, like or they, oh, they'd the have like a kid. the more you know. Wait, hold on. Yeah, or, or they would do. 
Well, it wasn't just it wasn't just the more you know. Remember, it was like I think CBS or, or, or one of them had like where you would have like a little teaching thing where you have like Michael J. Fox like telling you how to say no to drugs or people telling you don't be bullies and all that. Those were, like you know bumpers in between the cartoon commercials. Those were great. Or Saved by the Bell telling me not to smoke marijuana. Yeah, that too. Or take caffeine pills. So yeah, or caffeine. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. To attack. <laughs> I'm so so yeah, scared. second to last, second to last one here. The homophobia, something that pop culture gets wrong about the '80s. Here it says uh, uh, the response. It was casual, rampant, and virtually unquestioned. If you were, <laughs> if you were gay or lesbian and not living in a major city like New York or San Francisco, you were probably in the closet, at least to everyone but some close friends and maybe family. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that is, I mean, it's, this isn't wrong. Like, that's the thing is that it was a whole, uh, um, nightmare. Just so I got distracted. Did anyone remember the Pee Wee Herman PSA against cocaine? No, but I'm looking that up. I don't remember yeah, that. I'm one. telling you. Yeah. They had all, you had the cartoons that would do the bumpers. They had like the hour cartoon with all the cartoons together saying no to drugs. Those are great. So one more here. And this goes back to Lava's uh, Russia comment person here says the 80s were crazy one time me and my friends launched guerrilla warfare on invading soviet and cuban troops in our small colorado town (laughs) (laughs) aardvark (laughs) there was uh one more thing i wanted to bring up before we moved on to the gen z game but while we're here, again, if you're watching this on a replay, this will be the end of that that clip. Make sure you guys are clicking uh, the thumbs up down below. It definitely helps out the channel. And comment down below, what do you think the I 80s really isn't quite portrayed properly when it comes to pop culture? The neon thing, I, I totally get, but definitely comment down below. Well, th- I would say the the excess as well. I mean, everybody made it seem like everybody was just riding around in Lambos and high class vehicles and stuff. And that was not the case. At all. I think it depends depend on what you're watching. Cause I mean, if you watch Miami vice, it makes it look like that's all it was. Yeah. Plus the cocaine. <laughs>